Now I'm Christy Etheridge. Aiken County Sheriff Michael Hunt tells us five homemade explosive devices have been found since last week in New Ellington. Oh my goodness, can you imagine that being that mother? Well, this is what one of those explosives look like. It's easy to see how you could get it confused with just a regular piece of PVC pipe. It looks like it may even be trash out there, but don't be fooled. If you see one of these, do not touch it. Ben Billmeyer is joining us live. He talked to the mother and to the little boy who found that device. You're at risk and it, it really is hard to recognize them as a potential Serious explosive risk. device, but also, Ben, it sounds like the sheriff mentioned that they may have been thrown out of the vehicle, and that's why they're kind of scattered across the area. One. And if you do find one, do not touch it. Let me repeat that. Do not go and touch it. Call 911 or the Aiken County Sheriff's Office. That number is 803-642-1761. It's also up on your screen if you need to jot it down. And, of course, we've put all of this information up on our website, WRDW.com. You can also find it in our app. We're told a number of fires in the New Ellerton area can be linked to these explosives. And we yeah, appreciate maybe it. Friday 13th, but somebody had some luck today. Yeah, That's absolutely. For sure. Well, moving along, after Dylan Roof's sentencing this week, he's the 63rd person on federal death row. Because there will still be a state trial, Roof will stay behind bars in South Carolina for now. After that trial, he will be moved to a death row facility in Indiana. Today, I sat down with one of the first responding officers on the scene of the Charleston Church shooting. He remembers walking in and finding someone still alive, asking for help. But since he had to search for the shooter, he couldn't stop. 